Let's turn attention to Oyo State, where the police have paraded 21 suspected Yoruba Nation agitators who invaded the Oyo State Secretariat in Ibadan last Saturday. They were paraded alongside several exhibits recovered from them at the state headquarters in Ibadan. CBC News senior reporter Oladio Yewole has details. It's three days after suspected members of the Yoruba Nation Secession Group invaded the Oyo State Secretariat in Agodi. They attempted to seize power from the government after hoisting their flag. After engaging in a gun battle with security personnel, the suspects were arrested and are now being paraded by the police and are to face prosecution for their actions. The Commissioner of Police described the act as criminal and unpatriotic and assured residents of Oyo the police's unwavering commitment to protecting their lives and property. While declaring this act as criminal, unpatriotic, and a clear case of treasonable felony and terrorism, to be met with adequate sanctions through purposeful prosecutions, the command reassures the good people of Oyo State that it remains solidly unwavering to the protection of their lives and property as constitutionally required by the laws of the land. He asked parents to prevail on their children against being used as agents to cause chaos in the state. As a parent, I enjoy other parents, guardians and leaders in every sphere of political, religious and social influence to prevail on their children, words, protests and followers against being used by unpatriotic individuals to promote anarchy in the state and by extension the nation. Alabi Ogundeji, one of the suspects, is a teacher at the Federal Government College, Oyo. For him, there is no going back in the attainment of their independence, as they have the backing of the appropriate international bodies. We are indigenous people of Yoruba. We are in Yoruba land, and that is why we have done that. And we have done all the legal activities and procedures that, we need, that need to be done. So who granted you the sovereignty? The United Nations, of course, and the Charter of the United Nations, the African Union, the ECOWAS Court, and the uh, EU. Are there documents to support all Yes, this? we have all documents. This 75-year-old and his daughter said they were introduced to the group with promises of a better life after achieving their so-called independence. Items recovered from the suspects include guns, live cartridges, cutlasses, paraphernalia of various offices, with Yoruba Nation inscriptions, among others. Oladio Yewole, TVZ 